Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will be learning about some more statistical functions, namely min and max function and small and large function. By the end of this video, you will know how to get maximum value and the minimum value from a data set. You will know how to use large and small function. You will know the difference between max and large function and the min and small function. It will be a lot of fun, so I'll see you there. Hello everyone and welcome back. This lecture is the last lecture on the statistical functions. Here we will learn about the max and min functions. I'm using the same data set which we used in our last two videos. Let's start off with the max function. The max function gives us the largest number from the set of given values. Let's just say that I want to find out what was the biggest order out of this data set. I can do that via the max function. I'll write in max. As an argument, this function is looking for a set of numbers that we want the, the function to operate on. So since we want to find out the biggest order, I'll pass in the range which contains the sales numbers. I'll close the parentheses and it will give me the value of the biggest order, which was 1706. The min function does the exact opposite. It will find you the smallest value from the set of given values. Let's just say that we want to find out what was the smallest order out of this given data set. I will use the min function, pass in the range which contains the sales values, and I'll get the smallest value. Similar to COUNTIF and SUMIF functions, MAX function can also check for a certain criteria when finding out the biggest value in the provided range. Let's say that I want to find out what was the biggest order in the office supplies. I can do that via the max if s function. It's asking for three arguments at least. So the first one is the max range, that is the range in which we want to find the biggest number, which is the sales. Then it's looking for the criteria range. In this case, the criteria is the category. So I'll select the category column. And third is the criteria that we want the function to evaluate in deciding whether it should be included in the calculation or not. So in this case, we want to pass in office supplies. So it's telling us that if we look at only the office supplies, the biggest order was 665, perhaps this order. Let's say that we want to find out what was the smallest order in the furniture category. We can do that via the min if s function. Again, we will provide the range where we have the numbers for the sales then we will provide the range with, which has the category values, and then we will provide the criteria that we want to be met if we want to, the number to be considered in the final calculation. And there we go. The smallest sale in the furniture category was $48, perhaps this one. So all in all, the max formula helps you find out the biggest value in a given range and the min formula helps you find out the smallest value in a given range. Now there is one more function which can do the exact same job and that function is called large and for the min alternative, the function is called the small. Let me give you an example of large. Let's say that we want to find out the biggest order. We have done that via the max function over here. Let me use the large function here. So large function takes in two arguments. The first argument is the array or the set of values that we want the function to find the biggest number from. And the second argument is the constant. Let me just pass in one for now and it will give us the same answer. So now what's the difference between these two functions? The max function will always give you the largest value from the set of values. Whereas the large function will give you the nth largest value. Basically, in large function, you can specify which largest number you are looking for. Let's just say that instead of the largest number, I'm interested in looking for the second largest number in this data set. So for that, I can just change the value of the second argument to two, and it will give me the second largest number. Similarly, I can go and ask for the third largest number by changing the value to three. Likewise, the small function will return the smallest value in the range if you provide one in place of the second argument. 
However, if you're looking for the second smallest, the third smallest, or the fourth smallest, you can change the value of the second argument accordingly. Let's just say if I pass in two, it gives me the second smallest value in this data set. So what is the purpose of large and small functions? These functions are usually used when you're creating a summary report. For example, if you want only the top five orders to appear on your summary report or your dashboard, then you can use the large function. Let's work through an example to understand it further. Let's just say that I want to find out what are the three largest orders in this data set. I can use the large function for that. Let me first write one, two, and three here to specify the values of n. Now I can use the large function. Write large, I'll pass in the area where the sales value are as a first argument. I'll change the reference to absolute reference by pressing the F4 key. And then I will pass in the value of n. So in this cell, I want the first largest value to appear. So I'll pass in one. In the second cell, I want the second largest value and then the third largest value. So it gives me the first largest value. And if I drag the formula down by pressing Control D, it will give me the second and the third largest as well. If you want to find out the three smallest orders from this data set, we can do that similarly by using the small function. So I hope you feel more comfortable now with the statistical functions in Excel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.